How is that possible? Fans react to Alejandro Garnacho's shocking miss during Man United's 1-0 win over Fulham. As Ruud van Nistelrooy does his best to console youngster. Man United may have made a winning start to the Premier League season with a 1-0 victory over Fulham, but Alejandro Garnacho may still be having a sleepless night after the match. The Red Devils snatched the three points through a late winner from new signing Joshua Zerke at Old Trafford. However, they should have made it 2-0 in injury time when Marcus Rashford capitalized on a defensive error to run clean through on goal. The Englishman was unselfish, squaring the ball to Garnacho, who somehow managed to turn it wide with an empty net in front of him. And fans couldn't believe their eyes with one posting on X. Like, how is that possible? Another made light of the moment, writing, even Grandpa would have scored that one. Others claimed Rashford was partly to blame for playing the ball slightly behind the Argentine, with one saying the pass wasn't great. One viewer summed it up by posting, The Bassey clearance, the Rashford pass, the Garnacho finish, maybe the worst sequence of play this sport has ever witnessed. It was Garnacho who most of the focus was on, however, and one man made sure to go out of his way to console him after the final whistle. Assistant manager Ruud van Nistelrooy made a beeline for the 20-year-old to put his arm round him and tell him to keep his head up. Speaking after the game, manager Eric Ten Hag was critical of his team's wastefulness. I think one area we have to get right is how to kill games in the box, Ten Hag told reporters. We saw it in the friendlies and last week against Manchester City in United's Community Shield loss. We created enough chances and should not to have wait for a late winner. We have to be more composed and kill teams. Maybe it is because it is the start of the season. Players have to come into full speed. We have enough players with scoring abilities. Barcelona reject swap deal for Frankie de Jong from Manchester United with clear transfer stance. Latest Manchester United transfer news and gossip as Barcelona midfielder Frankie de Jong continues to be linked with a move to Old Trafford. Barcelona star Frankie de Jong continues to be linked with a move to Manchester United. Ever since Eric Ten Hag was appointed as United manager back in 2022, the Reds have been frequently credited with an interest in signing de Jong. Ten Hag worked with the Netherlands International during his time as Ajax boss, and that connection has fueled the rumors that a move to Old Trafford could be on the cards. With just a month to go until the summer transfer window closes, United have once again been linked with a move for de Jong. This time, though, there is a change to the rumor that involves a player who is already a part of the United squad. According to Spanish news outlet El Nacional, Ten Hag is still keen to sign De Jong for United. The report claims, though, that United have presented a swap deal to try and convince Barcelona to do a deal for De Jong. It has been reported that United have offered a swap deal that would see Anthony move to the Camp No, with De Jong making the switch to Old Trafford. This, the article states, is because of United's awareness of Barca demanding a significant transfer fee for the midfielder. In response, the report claims that Barcelona have rejected the offer to see Anthony move to the La Liga Giants for Anthony. It has been stated that the only way de Jong will leave Barcelona is if United or any other interested club was to meet their financial demands rather than offer a swap deal. De Jong has been on the sidelines with an ankle injury that forced him to miss Euro 2024 with the Netherlands. No time frame has been given for when the 27-year-old is expected to return to action following the injury, which he first sustained back in March. In the heart of Barcelona, a crisp autumn breeze swept through the Camp Nou, carrying with it a sense of anticipation. The stadium, usually filled with the cheers of thousands, now echoed with quieter, more serious murmurs of boardroom discussions. Javier Castillo, Barcelona's shrewd and ambitious sporting director, sat at his desk, meticulously reviewing a new proposal that had just landed. It was from Manchester United, and it was clear from the tone that the Premier League giants were eager to make a significant move. The proposal was bold. A swap deal involving Frankie de Jong, the star Dutch midfielder who had become the heartbeat of Barcelona's midfield. 
Manchester United was offering one of their top players in exchange, a move that could potentially address gaps in both squads. Castillo's eyes narrowed as he read through the details. It wasn't the player offered that caught his attention, but the underlying message, Manchester United was serious about De Jong. He needed to consider this carefully. Later that day, Castillo convened a meeting with Barcelona's top brass, President Maria Gonzalez, head coach Sergio Martinez, and financial advisor Elena Ruiz. The room was filled with tension as Castillo laid out Manchester United's offer. Gonzalez, a formidable figure in the football world, listened intently. Frankie is more than just a player for us. He's a symbol of our vision for the future, she said firmly. Martinez nodded in agreement. He's the linchpin of our midfield. His understanding of the game and ability to control tempo is unparalleled. I don't believe any player offered in this swap could replace him. Elena Ruiz, the voice of financial pragmatism, raised her concern. From a financial perspective, the deal might seem attractive, but does it align with our long-term goals? We must consider the implications for our squad balance and financial stability. After a lengthy discussion, the consensus was clear. Barcelona's management decided to reject the swap deal, reaffirming their commitment to keeping De Jong. The decision was driven by a blend of strategic importance and emotional attachment to a player who embodied their aspirations. As news of Barcelona's rejection spread, Manchester United fans were left in dismay. The Red Devils manager, Liam O'Connor, had been enthusiastic about the possibility of acquiring De Jong, seeing him as a game-changer for their midfield. O'Connor, known for his tactical acumen, faced the media with a composed demeanor. We made a strong offer, but we respect Barcelona's decision. We'll continue to evaluate other opportunities and adjust our strategy accordingly. In Barcelona, the decision was met with relief and renewed focus. De Jong, who had been aware of the speculation but had maintained a professional demeanor, was praised for his dedication. He continued to train diligently, showing his commitment to the club that had placed so much faith in him. Meanwhile, England star Mark Guahy in shock transfer talks to Newcastle as they join Man United and Arsenal in race. The defender was one of England's most impressive players during their Euro 2024 campaign in Germany. Guehi, 24, has rejected a new contract at Selhurst Park and his current deal expires in 2026. The Athletic have claimed that the Magpies have now made a move to sign the Englishman. It is stated that Eddie Howe's side are the first to approach the Eagles over a deal. Guehi has also had interest from the likes of Arsenal, Tottenham Hotspur, and Manchester United. He made 25 appearances in the Premier League last season, before starting six of England's seven matches en route to the Euros final. The only match he missed was in the quarterfinal victory over Switzerland, for which he was suspended. Palace have already lost Michael Olis during the summer transfer window. The French winger completed a 50 million pounds transfer to Bundesliga giants Bayern Munich. Manager Oliver Glasner could also lose Ebereki Ezi, who has a 60 minute or release clause in his contract. The attacking midfielder played a crucial role as the South London outfit impressed in the second half of last season. He has admirers such as Manchester City and Tottenham Hotspur. Newcastle have already added to their backline this summer, having completed the signings of Lloyd Kelly on a free transfer and goalkeeper Odysseus Vlakotomos from Nottingham Forest. The club have also made Lewis Hall's loan move from Chelsea permanent. Palace, meanwhile, have also been busy having signed Daichi Kamada, Chadi Riyad, and Ismail Asar. In a surprising twist, England star Mark Guehi has entered into shock transfer talks with Newcastle United, as the Magpies join Manchester United and Arsenal in the race to secure the talented defender's signature. The news came as a jolt to the football world, with Guehi's name previously associated mainly with United and Arsenal. Guehi, currently a standout performer at Crystal Palace, 
has attracted considerable interest with his impressive defensive displays and leadership qualities. The 23-year-old's potential move has sparked a flurry of excitement among fans and pundits alike. Newcastle United's sudden interest adds a new layer of intrigue to the transfer saga. Known for their ambitious plans under the new ownership, the Magpies are keen to bolster their squad and view Guehi as a key part of their future. Discussions between Newcastle and Guehi's representatives have reportedly intensified with the club eager to secure a deal that could significantly strengthen their defensive line.